Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we're gonna to talk about how to do heavy light cycles with only one weight. We talk a lot about heavy light cycles on this channel because they are an easy way to vary your intensity across the time of a training program. A heavy light cycle operates with a light weight having more total work than the heavy weight. The heavy weight being usually the same complexity of movement with a heavier weight, but at a lower total amount of work. In the past, we have talked about that as being like 16K. If you were gonna use a 32K, you would want your total work of the 32K to be lower or half of what you're doing with the 16K. That varies on a scale depending on what the difference between the weights are. If you don't have multiple weights, then the short answer is you change the complexity. This was a question in relation to kettlebell clean and press. If you don't have other weights, then you could alter the complexity by doing snatch press. This assumes that you already know how to do snatches well enough that you're not gonna beat yourself to death doing it. The other solution is to turn it into monster lifts and turn it into a clean squat press or a clean press squat. There are a bunch of options about how to do this, but these are kind of the most obvious options. I like the snatch press because I like to isolate my squats away from my clean and press training, just because I do a lot of other type of leg work with a lot of other stuff. So I like to try and keep squats isolated from the system, but these are three ideas of what you can do. If you were running your clean and press program and you were doing your reverse ladders of three, three, two, two, one and one, then you would add volume to this to turn it into a volume cycle, which means you would add sets of this. That is one option. If you wanted to turn it into a heavy light cycle, the heavy cycle would become a higher complexity movement. A snatch is a higher complexity movement than a clean. If you don't have the skill to pull off the snatch without beating yourself to death, you would add another movement in there a clean squat press, a clean press squat. You could also add in lunges, step back lunges being my favorite one because it isolates the front foot and allows you to maintain good arch firing in your front foot by driving your big toe into the ground and controlling the movement of the lunge that way. Simple answer, change complexity. When you got this up to your top of your volume cycle that you wanted to do, and you were going to jump to four, three, two, one, to take your numbers up, then you would start alternating that with a snatch press on another day. And that snatch press would then start back at the bottom with say three sets of three, two, one. And then you would start having clean and press running one block ahead of the snatch press, the snatch press being lower. This eventually breaks down because eventually you're gonna run out of things to do for it to be a pure clean and press math program, but this works for a while until you can get more resources or heavier weights or figure out how to have heavier weights. If you don't have heavier weights and you're never gonna get heavier weights, then you're gonna start adding complexity to this system and you're gonna add complexity to this system forever. This works out pretty well. Essentially, you start turning these into massive monster lifts for time, but the time control goes out the window. A clean and press and a snatch press take the same amount of time. So when you get up to five sets of five, four, three, two, one, it should be 20 minutes for the clean and press and the snatch press. That starts to change when you start adding movements in like a squat because those squats take a little bit more time each time and that adds up over the course of time. So your final goal over here starts to become like 25 minutes. We start to lose our time control, but that is an option. There are always the options that we're trying to take into account. We're trying to take into account how long it takes, how much money it costs, how predictable the outcomes are. When you start getting up into these monster lifts, you can do this like forever. You can just keep adding complexity to a system forever, but then the predictable math of our reverse ladder starts to fall away. So simple answer. If you're trying to do heavy light cycles with one weight, you can either up the complexity of one part of the movement or you can start adding movements into the system. They change different variables, but it's an idea that you can think about. And that's always what we're doing. We're always trying to find good, reasonable solutions for the equipment that we have, for the space that we have, for the amount of time that we have.